Hello everyone, welcome back to this OER Open Educational Resource course. Continue with the tutorials, in this video we will put together on the table the three steps that help us opening the science the works. First of all, we must understand what open license means. One definition could be give permission to allow the reuse of work. For example, a teacher can share his work with other teacher or as a student when we when you share his notes with his classmates. In summary, allowing the reuse of something that you share. So, first step is to consider copyright, and therefore we must decide if we are willing to share our work. So, the term copyright arrives, so we identify in, his, in this way that you are the intellectual owner of your own works. So, we then propose the following question. What do you do with your intellectual property? Well, intellectual property has value, a value that is generally determined by the usefulness of the work for others and its distribution for others to consume. Therefore, these two questions are answered. What is the value of your intellectual property and how would you distribute it? Another important term is Creative Commons. The symbol complements what we said. Therefore, not only maintain your copyright, but at the same time give permission to others to use your work using Creative Commons license. So, open license has red limits, and some are, for example, more people see your good work, the product of your effort lives longer, you can share it with other people, receive feedback from the audience, and finally, your work can contribute to the future class. So, the second important point is to conclude, include open works in your contents. So we must bear in mind that we can not um, apply open licenses to content of other authors unless without permission. So therefore, with the intention of sharing, we must keep in the mind that we can open license our open own intellectual property, but do not openly license another person's work. So, from here, here arise some important questions. How to find a material with open license? Well, it depends on what type of uh, resource you are looking for, but the most important and popular search engines are, for example, Flickr, YouTube, Vimeo, Google, that include filters to works with Creative Commons license, as well Wikipedia and Wikimedia, have resources with Creative Commons. Another resource that we add here is Up to University, an European repository that emerged from the Up to You project. On Up to University, all resources follow the OER philosophy. Well, finally, the third step is to assign a license to our content or work. We must decide how we want them to use or create our creations. From here arise the terms of paying for work or giving per merit to the initial creators. Now, we have the opportunity to assign merit to the original author. So, now let's find how to apply for an open license. Below, we show the elements that can be part of the Creative Commons. It is these four elements, and they can work together to tell people what they can do with your work. The simplest way is using the Creative Commons license generator. This is the link in case you want to go into more detail. But in another video, I will show you how easy it is to generate license. Finally, we must think about the time to share science since someone may want to make use of this material. So we should try as much as possible to, for that, create little credit restrictive license and indicate always how we want to give value to our credit or credit to our content. And this has been all for the moment. I hope that this small video of OER encouraged you to share and take the step to create the first work with an open license. And please remember it is too important to like if the video has been interesting for you and add your comments and questions to enrich the channel with more content. It's up to you. Cheers!